I am going to Japan tomorrow. How is that even a true sentence? My flight leaves in 22 hours. I'm going to Japan for two weeks and then Taiwan for one week. Apparently United is allowing me two free check bags. So what I'm doing is checking one carry-on sized luggage for all my stuff. And then I'm bringing my carry-on sized backpack, mostly empty so that I can bring home as many snacks and souvenirs and gifts and snacks as I want. If you know me, you know that I have to approach this packing process in the most unnecessarily optimized way imaginable. So what we're gonna do is go to my Notion dashboard. Basically, I have this inventory database that contains every single thing that I own. You might find this excessive, I'm not recommending that you do this, but for me, who is currently living in Spain and studying there, but then also coming home sometimes to the US, moving apartments pretty frequently, I wanted an easy way to just keep track of where all of my belongings are at any given time. This has made the moving out and moving in processes much easier and it also makes the process of travel packing much easier. So basically what I'm gonna do now is instead of standing in front of my closet trying to pick what I wanna bring, I'm gonna go to my Notion database and filter everything that is currently in Madison and then sort by category and by subcategory and then what I have decided that I want to bring. This column is for deciding which items I wanna bring. So if I decide that I wanna bring this shirt, I will check the box and then because of some notion magic that I did, it's gonna appear in this packing list. So if I scroll down to the clothing category, I see it in my shirts. I already started making my packing list, but I'm just gonna go through everything one more time. First category I'm gonna look at is pants. I'm gonna wear these on the plane. They're nice and stretchy and comfortable. Um, it's also probably gonna get cold on the plane, so I don't wanna be wearing shorts. Then I have two long skirts, like satin. I don't know what you call this fabric. A short skirt, these two pairs of shorts, and my bike shorts. I'm bringing one workout outfit. I think I can just like wash these in the bathroom sink and then dry them in the hotel. Then for comfy clothes, for pajamas and for just wearing around the hotel, I have these athleta pants, green sweatpants and three big t-shirts. And then finally for the shirts category, to start with, I have my blue dragon one, this tiger one, and then this red one that I love so much that I just got at a thrift store in Madrid. And then I have two plain tanks. I have this white button up that desperately needs to be ironed, but I assume there'll be a clothing iron in every hotel. Um, this shirt, this shirt, this one that's slightly more going out. I don't know how much of that will be doing, but you always gotta be prepared. The sun is setting, it's getting late. I need to hurry up. I'm gonna start by packing all the clothes that I just told you about on one side of the carry-on. Okay, that's that. One thing I did was I made sure to pack the pajamas at the top so that I can get right into them when we get to the hotel. So then, this is my toiletries bag. Just have the huge in here. Um, but because I am checking it, which I usually don't do, I did take advantage of that opportunity to bring a whole bottle of conditioner because I feel like hotels never give you enough conditioner. And I just brought a whole bottle of lens solution as well because why not? I put my full-size toothpaste in there, but then I have a mini toothpaste and mini mouthwash for the plane because on a 13 hour flight, I think it might be nice to brush my teeth. At least nice for my friend sitting next to me. Okay, then I have this beautiful leather makeup bag, which my friend gifted to me. It has my initials on it. I guess I can show you what's in here. BB cream and concealer, blush and highlighter, red lip gloss and regular lip gloss, a small eyeshadow palette, eyebrow gel, eyelash curler, mascara, tweezers, eyeliner, and brushes, and setting spray, and beauty blenders in this little bag. So yeah, I did not actually end up using my big packing cubes, but I am using the little one for what's in here. Underwear and bras and socks. As far as technology things go, I am gonna be working a little bit on the trip. I am bringing this camera, which I can't show you. Well, I could get a mirror. 
I'm bringing this little Sony vlogging camera and the microphone on top of it. This mini tripod, my Samsung two terabyte solid state drive, which I use for any current projects that I'm editing. Uh, and I made sure to make space on it so that I can fit all my new footage. Charger and extra batteries for the camera. My graphics tablet and the pen in this pencil case. And as, and SD card reader. I have this cloth bag that came with a bathrobe that I bought once and I really like storing all my wires and tech things in there. So let's do that. No, this is not charged, whatever. I have the charging wire. Then for personal tech, I have my huge battery pack. Okay, I don't know what unit is used to measure battery packs, but this stores 38,800 of those. So not too bad. It also, I really like this. It displays the percentage. Wow. That does not show up on camera but it says 100. I have my HDMI cord figured in case we want to watch TV at the hotel. I forgot. I also have my Kindle. So then finally, aside from the two big bags, I'm gonna have my small backpack with me on the plane. Look at the little avocado. So I got this backpack at Muji. I had been, I don't wanna just say looking for a backpack like this. I had been envisioning, dreaming of this backpack. I think I manifested this backpack. It is the perfect size. Um, it is just big enough to fit my laptop, but no bigger than that. It has uh, like a handle for carrying it or straps for having it on your back. It has a little pocket in the front, like it's perfect. I am going to bring my laptop, a notebook and pencil case, water bottle, empty of course for TSA, of course. My little onboard dental toolkit, AirPods, wallet, extra contacts and my prescription glasses, the Kindle, battery pack, laptop charger and iPhone charger, gum, and I bought this gigantic bag of trail mix. This is a kilogram. So I think I'm gonna go and pour this into a smaller Ziploc bag, but this was a really good deal, okay? My Japan Rail Pass. This is pretty important because you have to order it before you're in Japan. You get this piece of paper um, and then you go and exchange it for your actual train pass. So that would be really bad if I forgot that. I have some plastic bags for laundry and whatnot. I think I'm gonna pack these sneakers in my luggage and then just wear my regular Nike shoes and that's it. I don't I don't think I need any more pairs of shoes than that. I'm bringing my bucket hat. I have to go find my sunglasses. I do not know where those are. Money belt. I don't think I'm gonna bring any other jewelry, just what I'm wearing right now, which is these gold leaf earrings, this ring, and and this necklace. I'm tired. I'm trying to plan ahead for the jet lag, so I'm thinking I need to get less sleep tonight and then sleep on the plane. Sleep on the plane because when the plane takes off, it is 3 a.m. in Tokyo. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna get there and no matter what I try to do before it, I'm just gonna be destroyed. I feel good, I feel good. to Japan, I'm going to Japan. Oh.